worship him one more time. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Who he let all our diseases, who forgives our iniquity and transgression. He has not dealt with us according to our sins. He is a merciful father. We worship you. We bless you. We give you glory. We magnify you. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Hallelujah. I believe God that tonight is going to be an unusual night. Because God is set. The atmosphere is set. And because you are here, it means you are set. Refuse every distraction. Propose in your heart that today must go in history for you and your family. The night that God visited you. See, in a man's lifetime, most times he doesn't need more than one visitation. Because one visitation of God can last a man for his entire life, no matter how long he lives. Will you propose that tonight will be your night? Will you propose that you will live to remember the sixth day of the sixth month of 2017? The day that God turned your life around. He will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we have our seats, the Holy Spirit laid in my heart that you can't go wrong asking God for what he has promised. You can't go wrong. When you ask God or you remind him of what he has promised. If a father calls his child whatever age he is and says, when you clock 21, I'm going to buy you a brand new car. At age 21, that boy has the right to say, Daddy, where's the car? Please listen to this. At the beginning of this year, God promised us in the redeemed Christian church of God that this year is the year of surprises. And tonight, the Holy Spirit said, I should say to you, to say to him, Lord, you promised me great surprises amazing surprises awesome surprises i'm making a demand tonight hallelujah i will read what i have here and i will leave you for one two minutes to pray this prayer but please take it very seriously father let tonight be the night to be remembered for good hallelujah Praise the Lord. Let me leave that one first and come to the first one. You are going to say, Lord, the great surprise that you promised me through your son, the head of this commission, bring it to pass in my life tonight. Bring it to pass in my life this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, at the beginning of this month, this year, I was minding my own business. When you send your son to announce to me that the year 2017 is the year of surprises. Oh God, the great surprise, the good surprise, the wonderful surprise that you promised me in 2017. Let it come to pass this 
this night. Let it come to pass this month. Let it come to pass, oh Lord. Oh God, a pleasant surprises. I don't know what it is, oh Lord. But when it happens, I will know. When it happens, I will testify. Lord, bring it to pass in my life. Bring it to pass in this church. Bring it to pass in my family. This is the sixth month of the year, oh Lord. I was minding my own business. When you sent your son to announce to me that this year you want to surprise me, my father, my God, let tonight be the night of fulfillment. Let tonight be the night of fulfillment. Let tonight be the night of fulfillment. I have said, O oh Lord, for your surprise. I have been waiting. Let tonight be the night of fulfillment. Oh, King of Glory, we worship you. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you. We give you glory. Father, let tonight be the night to be much remembered. For good in all our lives in the name of Jesus. Let the unlimited breakthroughs that you promised us this month begin now in the name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, reach out to every one of us. Your word says you stretch forth your hand and you satisfy the desire of every living soul. Father, let your hand be stretched forth. Let your hand be stretched out over this gathering tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. See to it, O Lord, that no one will leave this place the same way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Lord, tonight, our desire is that in all our lives, no more toiling. In all our lives, no more toiling. Thank you, Almighty God. Confirm your word with miracle signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord as we have our seats. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I was driving this um, afternoon in the midst of the rain that I've refused to stop. This is my own testimony now. And the wiper of the car stopped working. How can you drive in the rain without a wiper? And I found myself speaking, commanding the wiper to walk. And I was driving by faith and commanding the wiper and turning what you make it work or what operates it. The thing refused to work. So I got to where I was going, I parked. I came out angry, I pulled the first wiper and commanded to walk, pulled the second wiper command it to work and I went inside to do what I went there to do. Honestly, I've forgotten. I got into the car, started the car. You know, the instinct is if it is raining, you will put on the wiper and I put it on. It was when it started working that I remember it wasn't working when I parked the car. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever I've refused to work in your lives, by this testimony the bible said that the spirit of our lord jesus christ is the spirit of testimony yes. i perceive that the anointing for healing is also here because it can never be a coincidence that the two testimonies shared earlier talks about healing and so by those testimonies whatever i've refused to walk whatever is sick whatever is grounded whatever the enemy have crippled i decree in the name of jesus christ receive life now in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus name amen please anyone that is believing god for healing of any form 
could be bodily healing it could be healing in the mind healing in the soul healing the spirit healing in your finances healing your career healing your business now you should be able to diagnose what the problem is and so that you can hit the root of the problem i'm telling you under god some career are sick such you don't administer something else you have to administer what makes for healing praise the lord the digging deeper started some finances are sick if a finance is sick and you are treating it as a finance that is being oppressed for example then you are not applying the same therapy so whatever falls under the category that healing power is needed in your seated position i want your heart to be ready for the healing power of god Amen. hallelujah now straight to why the lord have gathered us tonight because i want to believe that god is up to something in our lives tonight we take our test from Luke chapter 5, which is our test for the month. Luke chapter 5. Let's read the whole of that test from 1 to 6. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, and saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets and he entered into one of the ships which was simon's and prayed him that he would trust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship now when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought and simon answering said unto him master we have toyed all night and have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net Verse 6. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Our focus tonight is verse 5. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toyed all night and caught nothing this is enforcing unlimited breakthrough part two now in dealing with this subject we need to understand what breakthrough is what is breakthrough master we have toyed all night and caught nothing nevertheless at your word i will let down the net how many are believing god for unlimited breakthroughs this month it will touch your hand in the mighty name of jesus listen to this please breakthrough is to break something in order to be true with certain things breakthrough you don't need any dictionary the explanation is in the word itself to break something in order for certain things to be true which means you can't have breakthrough except certain things break and that's what tonight is about 
breakthrough is to break something in order to be true with certain things. Breakthrough means you are able to break what is stopping you through. Breakthrough means you are able to break what is stopping you through. So when you are true, you say you have a breakthrough. Technica, help me with the picture for the banner. But except you break it, you can't be true. Did you see it in that picture? Remove the scripture so that you can see it very well. Whatever has stopped you from being true, true in your finances, true spiritually, true in your career, true in your marriage, true in your business, tonight they are going to break in the mighty name of Jesus. For Peter, it was toiling that was stopping him from being true. Sir, Ma, there is a spirit called the spirit of toiling. As long as it's at work in a life, that life cannot be true. It is one of the spirit of the cause of the law. Somebody say the spirit of toiling. Somebody said the spirit of toiling. Tonight, I break your hold in all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter 3, 17 to 19. Let's, let's look at what seemingly describe the spirit of toiling then to adam he said because you have heeded to the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which i commanded you not cause is the ground for your sake in toil did you see it there the spirit of toiling I stand on the altar of God. My translation does not even say it. King James does not call it toil. King James call it. Let me look for it. In sorrow. But this scripture came to my spirit. As the Lord said to me. That this night break the spirit of toiling in the life of the people the people will have their breakthrough yeah. in toil what did he say in Luke chapter 5 we have toyed all night can you connect things together sir please leave it at that scripture Genesis chapter 3 verse 17 hallelujah in toy you shall eat of it all the days of your life somebody say god forbid and i forbid it too but tongues and titus it shall bring forth that's explaining what the spirit of toil is and what it does and you shall eat the half of the feed verse 19 in the sweat somebody say god forbid of your face shall you eat bread when a man is under the spirit of tongues and fetus when a man had to sweat before he can eat the spirit of toiling is at work simon said we have toyed all night listen to this 
as I read this scripture, the Holy Spirit said, some will say, but I've been redeemed of the Lord. And Christ had redeemed me from the cause of the law. That is according to Galatians chapter 3, 14 to 10. Sorry, Galatians chapter 3, 10 to 14. Christ has redeemed me from the cause of the law. So, how can you say that I operate under the spirit of toil as a child of God? My understanding is when I gave my life to Christ, the cause of the law was broken over my life. And therefore, I am not operating under the cause of the law. You are right partially, but you are not completely right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The scripture that says Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law is verse 13 of that Galatians chapter 3. But let's see what other translation says. Please leave it there. Christ has purchased our freedom. Somebody say purchased. From the cause of the law. That's one translation. Another translation says, Christ paid the price for us to be free from the cause of the law. Two scriptures. The Bible says, out of two or three witnesses, a truth shall be established. We are in digging deep. So King James said, Christ as and many other versions says, Christ has redeemed us. Now, all that translation explain it that the word redeem means to purchase. The, another translation says it means to pay. Christ has paid. Christ has purchased. So the Holy Spirit said to me that the meaning of this scripture is like when a man buys a gift card or a gift voucher or a gift receipt and give it to his friend maybe for appreciation or celebration until you tender that receipt <laughs> some people are getting it so when you came to Christ by redemption a receipt a purchase somebody say purchase a voucher somebody say a payment yes. the two scriptures I read to us say Christ have paid Christ have purchased was put in your hands but you must carry that receipt to take delivery of what has been purchased is somebody getting it now let me ask the question. Since you became born again, how many have stood before and said, I broke the spirit of toiling in my life? You have ever done it before. You remember you've done it. So which means you have been carrying the receipt. You have never enforced it. We are doing it tonight. Did you get what I've just said? Anything Christ paid for, if you don't place a demand, you can still be under the influence of what has been paid. So, it's possible that your friend, what he bought for you is the newest iPad. That you have the receipt of the iPad, is it equal to the iPad? That you walk to the store where the iPad is being sold, without tendering the receipts, will they give you the iPad? So what we are doing tonight is we are tendering the receipt that Christ has paid for us to be free from the spirit of toiling and therefore no more toiling. Yeah. I said and therefore no more toiling. Yeah. I said and therefore no more toiling. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. You won't know what it means to toil again. I said, you won't know what it means to toil again. 
Now, my time is running so quickly, I will show us six things that toiling means. I will go into warfare to place a demand, to cash what Christ paid for. And, and I'm saying to you, please, this night is setting the pace for what this month is about. Remember where I started from. Breakthrough means that to break so that you can go through. So we are only dealing with the spirit of toiling. Just as I ask, have you ever dealt with it before? Let the Holy Spirit open your eyes. Sir, you won't have favor just because you are now born again. You have to break the spirit of this favor and you have to institute over your life. Some people show up somewhere, favor, just follow them. You think it's ordinary. Why is he not following you? But you have not invoked the spirit of favor. And you have not put the spirit of this favor where it belongs. And so therefore you can be a child of God. But you are not wearing the cloak of favor. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? <laughs> tonight, this place is charged with the power of God. Now quickly, what is toiling? How can I identify toiling? Now for time, I will just give us references from the lives of our forefathers in the faith. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you go and check it. They operated under the spirit of toiling. He broke before they entered into their breakthrough. By the time Abraham was dying, the Bible said God had blessed him in all things. Isaac, wealthy man. Jacob, wealthy man. But the three of them, they had to break through the spirit of toiling. Hallelujah. You find Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. Verses 1 to 4. You will find Isaac in Genesis chapter 26, verses 18 to 22. And you will find Jacob in Genesis chapter 29 and chapter 30. Study those scriptures. Hear what daddy said. That's an elderly man. He said he was waking up at night to deal with the affliction of hell. Sir, there's no place in the kingdom for a lazy man. I'm telling you something. Anything can break through if you will confront it. Maybe I didn't say it very well. Anything can break if you will break it. Anything can do what? Amen. Sir, don't pass it on to your children. Break it. <laughs> what? Isaac experience was not the same as what Abraham experienced because Abraham broke that level. Break it. Somebody said this month I'm breaking it. No mercy for the devil this month. If he doesn't want you to break through, you have to break him. Are you getting what I've just said? So from those scripture, what is toiling? Number one. Toiling is when you do not have what you should have. In a particular place. In a particular time. At a particular age, I got that from Abraham, 75, he was still living in his father's house. Toiling is when you don't have what you should have. In a particular place, how many think they have all they can have in Aberdeen? <laughs> at a particular time, how many thought they've had all God wants them to have January till date? At a particular age, you are 40, you are 50, you are 30, you are doing well. <laughs> the 
you are you are you are the best of your age of the people in your age class if it is not happening this is why god called you here tonight it is going to break yeah. very soon you will look at all the people that you are age mates and you will be above them all yeah. that's a prophetic word i want you to hold on to it that is what the spirit of breakthrough draws you will come from behind and you will lead them in front yeah. sir breakthrough has nothing to do with color breakthrough has nothing to do with age if you determine that god this month must not pass me by and speaking by the spirit of god now i know when the spirit of god is speaking in this same land the people of this land will be working for you they will be in your payroll they will be in your employee god is no respecter of anybody god is no respecter but you have to break it to go through somebody say i'm breaking it tonight Number two, toiling. It's when you are not where you should be. The first one is when you do not have what you should have. In a particular place, in a particular time, at a particular age, you are not where you should be. How many have reached their goal here? You think where you are now is where God wants you to be. It's your best. If you are not at your best, this is why God have called you here tonight. Hallelujah. Toiling is when you have not become what you should become in a particular place, in a particular time, at a particular age. Praise the Lord. I pick this one from the life of Isaac and Jacob. Number four now. Toiling is when you always face so much contention. This one is deep. It could be from men or contention of resources before you can get things done successfully. How many have seen such people before? Before they can get something done successfully, they will have to fast they will have to bind. They will have to lose. They will have it. The sweat is too much. Genesis chapter 3, 17 to 19. That's the spirit of toiling at work. Why did Christ die? Hallelujah. Did we capture number four? When you always face so much contention. So I read this thing to us so that you know what you are breaking tonight. Remember, breakthrough is what you need to break to be true. Number four, toiling is when you are always witnessing disappointments. Toiling is when you are always witnessing disappointments whenever you are the verge of a breakthrough. They call it near miss syndrome. There's anyone under the sound of my voice, they will send you an email of congratulation and they say, Ah, we made a mistake. Please, tonight is your night. When you are always witnessing disappointment in this your very short life, you can count one, two, you don't need more than two. Something almost touched your hand, something took it from your hand. Tonight is your night. When certain things break, breakthrough will happen. I, I, I can't say that enough. When certain things break, somebody say break. break. Somebody say break. break. Somebody say break. break. Number six, and I will shut down. But I want to encourage you, Pastor Tari, will lead us in these prayers before we go into the anointing session. Tonight is no dead. Pray like if you don't pray now there's no more opportunity to pray we are breaking the spirit of toiling you will begin to operate on roller coaster yeah. you begin to glide in life yeah. you will begin 
into cost in life. When there is no more resistance, going becomes easy. Many of us, we are too resisted. I don't know who I'm speaking to. That's why you will read and you are not understanding. It's a force you need to break. Because they said, you come abroad. We will see what you come back with. I'm speaking to somebody. Number six. Somebody said tonight is the night. <laughs> the power of God it must break it. Say it. The power of God must break it. Number six, toiling is when you always experience so much resistance. Toiling is when you always experience so much resistance at the place of success. This is not different. It's not it never the same as the one you have heard. Until the breakthrough is lost or recalled. Where you always experience resistance. A man gets a letter of employment, gets to the place, the boss won't allow him or her. So it's crossed, this thing is in levels. It's crossed from not being able to get it. The enemy said, I will wait for you at the verge of breakthrough. So you are always rest as if you are the only one in the place. You are already in the place of success. But the resistance will be so much that even you, you say, I resign. Tonight is the night. When you're always res experiencing resistance, so much so at the place of success, that the success or the breakthrough will now be recalled or cancelled. Tonight is the night. Power of might, rise on your feet. Be unto the Lord forever, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Wisdom has given oh, 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 oh. power of mind be of Sudala forever. Sing it for the last time. Amen. 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 And glory. Oh, yes. Wisdom does give. Oh, yes. Power of mind. Be all to the Lord. For Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 12 and 11. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 12 and 11. The Bible says, I know that there is no good in them. But for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. Verse 13. Verse 13. Technical, can you pl place it there, please? 13. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is a gift from God. Brethren, that is the plan of God for his children. But when you look at people, particularly in the house of God, you see that we labor and we don't even have money to afford for the basic things of life. And that is an error from that scripture. The Bible said God promised us to do what? To enjoy. And to eat and to drink the good of his labor. But in the house of God we toil every day. 
And pastor has just given us a definition of what it means by tolling. When I had my own, at the nick of having a job in the oil company, I was so privileged that I did not attend the interview along with other people. It was in the director of Ajip Oil Company Worldwide, Human Resources Manager. The governor has given my name, and I was just like good to be working in the oil company. But today, I don't know what happened. That is toiling. The Bible says that the Bible passage we read, Luke chapter 5, verse 5. The Bible says that Simon Peter experienced that spirit of toiling. And that was why all through his, the night, he never cast what? One single fish until Jesus delivered that spirit out of his life. Friends, you can only have breakthrough when that spirit is delivered from you are delivered from that spirit tonight the first prayer that we want to pray is that you will say my father my father my father my father in the name of jesus deliver me from the spirit of toilet raise your voice so heaven and begin to pray to god my father my father in the name of jesus deliver me from the spirit of toiling i cannot do it on my own i pray lord that you deliver me from the spirit of toiling in the name of jesus deliver me father from the spirit of toiling in the name of jesus every spirit of toiling deliver me your word says that in my desire that is delivered deliver me from every spirit behind my toiling every spirit that i have vowed that i will not make success that i will struggle i will struggle i will labor hard without eating my father my father in the name of jesus deliver me father from toiling Deliver me from toiling in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from toiling. Deliver me from toiling in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Mount Zion that delivers. We are in our deli Mount Zion. Deliver me from toiling in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We need to add more vigor in our prayer. The children of Israelites experienced a time, a long time of toiling. The Bible says for over 400 years, they were toiling without a result until God decided to deliver them. I don't know that strong man in your life and in my life that is standing in our way of breaking through. Any strong man in our father's house and in our mother's house, responsible for our toiling, tonight the Lord will deliver us from him in the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 6 verse 6, Exodus 6 verse 6, the Bible says, We are for say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, I will bring you out from under the burden of the Egyptian. You are going to pray. I don't know which burden, which, whoever must have placed on us the burden of toiling. You will say, my father, my father, my father, my father, deliver me from the strong man, responsible for my toiling. Raise your voice and begin to pray that prayer. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, deliver me, father, from every strong man responsible for my toiling in the name of jesus deliver me from every strong man from every strong man from every strong woman in my father's house in my mother's house responsible for my stolen in the name of jesus whoever whatever force responsible for my toiling deliver deliver me in the name of jesus deliver me from the strong man from the strong woman Everyone in my community, the shrine in my community, deliver me in the name of Jesus from every strong man, from every force responsible, Father, for my toiling in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. 
Exodus chapter 14, verse 28. Exodus 14, 28. The Bible says, And the water returned and covered the chariot, and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them remained not so much as one of them. Meaning, Pharaoh was a strong man that was responsible for the toiling of the children of Israel until Pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea. Yes. It was after Pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea that they had their breakthrough. It was when Pharaoh drowned that they were able to inherit the promised land. You are going to pray, my father, my father, every Pharaoh in my life responsible for my toilet drowned in the Red Sea. Raise your voice and begin to pray that prayer. My father, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, I pray, Lord, every strong man responsible for my toilet drowned in this rest. Even a Pharaoh and his horsemen drowned in the rest. Let them die, let them die, and their husband drown in the rest. In the name of Jesus, let them drown in the rest. Let them drown in the rest. Let them drown in the Red Sea. Let them drown in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. They would let them never come out alive. Father, let them be consumed. Let them be buried by the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Every strong man responsible. Father, for my toiling and for the toiling of your sons and daughters. Let them drown in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. They would never, never be alive. Father, to continue the enterprise. In the name of Jesus. Let them drown. Let them drown in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Luke chapter 5, verse 5b, the Bible says, When Jesus had an encounter with Simon Peter, he gave him an instruction. One of the things that, you know, is responsible for people living in a life of toiling is disobedience. If Peter has refused to obey Jesus Christ, the breakthrough that they had that day wouldn't have had it. So one thing that will make us to have breakthrough and to live above toiling is when we obey God. The Bible says, Peter said, Nevertheless, at thy walls, he launched into the deep. And the Bible says, he had net breaking what? Breakthrough. We are going to pray, my father, my father. My father, my father. The grace to obey you. To live above toilet. Release her to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the grace to obey you. In total. Father to live above toilet. Release that grace unto me. I pray for the grace of obedience. Grace of obedience. Grace of total obedience. Father that my toilet life will be over. I pray Father Lord. Release the spirit of obedience. The grace to obey you in totality. Release that grace unto me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Psalm 37 verse 23. The reason why sometimes we live a life of toiling is because we are at where we are not supposed to be. You are not supposed to be, if you are not supposed to be here, if your blessings are not here and you are here, you will be struggling all the, for a very long time yes. with that breakthrough coming. Yes. So we are going to ask God that going forward, let God direct order our step right on the path of breakthrough. You will say, my father, my father, order my step on the path of breakthrough. Raise your voice to heaven and begin to cry to God. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, please order my step on the path of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, order my step, order my step, order my step on the path of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, order my step, take away my step from where I will be toiling. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus mighty name we pray finally from we'll read numbers 27 verse 7 
Technical just give us that scripture. Numbers 27, verse 7. The Bible said that the daughters of Jelophedad speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause the inheritance of their fathers to pass to them. This is a very instructive you know, scripture. Our pastor has said that we should place a demand. And these are ladies that decided to place a demand over their, their uh, uh, possession and their inheritance. The Bible says that ordinarily, because they are female children, they are not entitled by the tradition to inherit the father's to have in the father's inheritance. Because the inheritance is supposed to go to what? The male children. But they look at it that how can that be? Our father gave birth to us. The man is dead. Is it his fault that he did not give birth to male children? Or did he, was he part of those people that, you know, sin against the, the Lord? And they decided to place a demand to Moses and, you know, Eleazar, the priest. And the Bible says that Moses took their demand to the Lord. And the Lord responded by saying that the women, the ladies at what, are right. And that all the father's possession should be what given to them god has given us a lot of possessions and promises the bible said the thief come to kill to steal and to what to destroy but jesus said i have come that you will have life and have it more abundantly toiling is not part of those promises that jesus gave to us he said my thought for you they are thought of good and not of evil to take us to an expected end and that is not to toil so tonight you are going to place a demand a demand and that demand is this oh lord i place a demand for breakthrough this month raise your voice and begin to talk to god my father my father in the name of jesus i place a demand father for breakthrough i place a demand father for breakthrough going forward i place a demand father for breakthrough in every area of my life i place a demand in the name of jesus i place a demand in my finances in my ministry i place a demand father for breakthrough in my academics i place a demand father for breakthrough in my career i place a demand father for breakthrough even as the daughters of Jelophan, that father lord place a demand and you answer them i place a demand tonight father for breakthrough in the name of jesus i place a demand for end of toiling in the name of jesus thank you father blessed be your name in jesus mighty name we pray father we thank you what a wonderful section the confidence we have in you is that we have a god that is a living god your ears are not too heavy that you cannot hear us father all that we have cried to you tonight we pray father lord that you will perfect it in jesus name Amen. father you will release your answers in jesus name Amen. father the spirit of toiling is over with us in jesus name Amen. going forward lord in this tabernacle you will bestow unto all great break, break greater breakthroughs Amen. breakthroughs lord that when people hear they will say indeed the lord is at work in this tabernacle Amen. In the name of Jesus, by reason of tonight's prayers, you will raise strong financial pillars in this tabernacle. Yeah. People that will want to spend and be spent for your work. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that the spirits of toiling operating in the life of anyone here is over tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's clap for Jesus. That club doesn't look like you believe something has happened in that session. How many thought that there have been a breakthrough in the realm of the spirits by that session of prayer? I want you to put your hands together for the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Please have your seats in the presence of the Lord majestically. Praise the Lord. We will be taking our offering. 
and we'll be taking that with a worship. I would like Sister Josephine to please um, prepare to lead us in a worship. Why worship? We want the environment that makes for the anointing. Because after our offering, we'll go into the anointing. Whatever remains that that prayer have not handled, because nothing can escape the anointing, shall not escape tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. As you package your offering, can I give you this word of wisdom? And don't take it from a pastor, take it from a father. One of the ways that you can break the hold of lack and want in your life is to be a seed sower. Please bring the stuff here. I'll be very quick. I'm just waiting for you to finish packaging your offering. I've determined in my life, for example, no matter the country I am on the surface of the earth, I won't give coins and I won't give the least currency in paper. Make your own decision. Make your own decision. When you are stingy in your finances, you are the enemy of your own financial breakthrough. There's no way I go to in the world. Apart from the fact that I will not give coins, I will not give the least currency <laughs> in paper. You want to break the hold of financial lack. You break it with your seed. Praise the Lord. The Lord will help our understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will keep the other one I, will, I would have loved to tell you. I will keep it for another time. So that we can have enough time. Because we also respect time. We want to do everything within time. But you know tonight is already loaded. But we want to do everything within time. I want you to label your offering. Either laboring with your hand or by, by your voice. My seed of breakthrough. And I want you to begin to speak upon this seed. God said, after all was done in the Garden of Eden, he said, it is the seed of man that will break the head of serpents. Lord, let this seed in my hand be my seed of financial breakthrough. By this seed, I connect to the anointing that is in the house. I will no longer toil financially. Now, if you are ready, please, we are giving to the King of Kings, so I want us to honor him by standing up. Once you are ready and you are praying that prayer, stand up and continue to pray it while Sister Josephine will lead us in worship, just the keyboard. And once they start singing, come and drop your offering so that we can go to the next thing. And let us worship the Lord and create an atmosphere for what God wants to do here tonight. And I believe that the Lord King of glory will do what no man can do. Heavenly Father, you are a mighty God. You are the God of breakthrough. Behold our hands lifted up unto you. We are spoken over this seed that this seed will break every financial ship. Lord, let it be in the name of Jesus. We stand upon your word that says, I've been young now, I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed beg for bread. Father, by the reason of the seed of tonight, no more financial toil in our lives in the name of Jesus. Let it be, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Over to you, just the keyboard. Let's go ahead and worship him. We worship you. 
Let's sing that song. Let's worship him. Let's give him praise. Worship you. Let's take it one more time. this session we want to say to the Lord Father if there's anything in my life that will not make this anointing for breakthrough to work for me please let your mercy take care of it go ahead and pray that prayer in one minute if there's anything in my life oh Lord that will not make this anointing of breakthrough to work for me my God my father Jesus Christ of Nazareth, merciful God, please have mercy upon me. Let your mercy be wiped out, O oh Lord, whatever is in my life that the enemy might want to hold on to, not to make this anointing to work for my good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The second prayer is for you to express your desire. It is the anointing of breakthrough that wants to come upon your head. But what do you want this anointing to do in your life? Go ahead and speak to the Lord. Lord, as this anointing of, for breakthrough comes upon my life, like you did for David, it became another man. You did for Saul, it became another man. By this anointing, Lord, my life will not remain the same from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet let there be a total transformation thank you almighty god in jesus mighty name we are prayed 
Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 18, verse 43. Someone said that the secret of men is in their story. The scripture we are about to read is from the mouth of David. And the Holy Spirit gave me understanding that this was what happened to him when the oil came upon him in 1 Samuel chapter 16. So David in Psalm 1843 was recounting as a testimony what the anointing did for him many years ago after it came on him in 1 Samuel chapter 16. The same anointing is about to come upon your life. But you need to stand upon the word of God. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You have delivered me from the toiling that others are toiling. You have delivered me from the struggle that others are struggling. This oil that is coming upon you tonight we put a mark of exemption from striving, toiling and suffering in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have your bottle of oil, please bring it out. If you don't have it, don't worry. Your neighbor will be generous to share with you. But please get your own bottle. Come with it on Sunday. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we mean business this month. Except the Holy Spirit says otherwise, sir. Every meeting, because it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. Do you see why we are doing it? It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Lift it up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, please make sure you open it. If it's got any cap, remove the cap. Behold, this oil lifted up unto you. Let your power possess them. Let them become the anointing for breakthrough. Upon every life that this oil will touch, let there be testimonies of unlimited breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, it is done. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Now put a little of that oil on your arm and on your palm and please share with your neighbor. Share with your neighbor. Just put a little. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just put a little on your palm and put it on your head and say in the name of Jesus. I am delivered by this anointing from the strivings of the people in the name of Jesus that is the prayer we are praying we continue to repeat it until you are told to stop by this anointing upon my head I am delivered from the strivings of the people in the name of Jesus pray violently pray aggressively pray to activate the power of the anointing upon your head I am delivered by this anointing from the strivings of the people. I am delivered. I am delivered according to the word of the Lord from the strivings of the people. No more toiling in my life. No more struggling in my life. No more strivings in my life. By this anointing tonight, I am delivered. 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 Baraso Poria. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Rasu Parazaza. Eketerekedekede. Raku Parazaza. Raku Parazaza. Pray aggressively in the Holy Ghost. Rasu Zazazazaza. Raku Popopopopo. By this anointing upon my life, I am delivered from the strivings of the people. 
Zuzuza, Baraguda ya, Ekaraza za. Lele 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 Boshara. Deliverance is taking place in this place. Maria no bolele shanda yada yada. For the anointing is the one that breaks the yoke, the yoke of servitude, the yoke of toiling, the yoke of slavery, the yoke of suffering is broken tonight. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the glory. We worship you. Somebody say, I'm delivered. Say it convincingly, I'm delivered. In the name of Jesus, I am delivered. By the anointing that is upon my life, I am delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus. From the suffering of the people. From the striving of the people. From the toiling of the people. In the name of Jesus. From today, by this anointing, no more toiling in my life and all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. How many believe it has happened for them? How many believe it has happened for them? This message has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout the United Kingdom and the world. If you would like to support us, kindly visit our website on www.jesushousetory.org. God bless you.